Hey folks, Jessica here. It's uh, United Fight time. So, I said I would stream this. We're going to stream it. I don't know how long I'm going to stream United Fight for because, man, United Fight is boring. But that all aside, uh, happy to have folks join me for my slow descent to madness as I smash my face into the wall to get honors. Um, let me get my stream all set up. One second. Gotta tweet out that I'm streaming. Yep, yep, yep. That's done. Right. All the exclamation marks. Okay, we're set up and ready to go. Um, hmm. This other crew seems to be a bit ahead of ours. Uh, so I guess I'll help catch us up. Also, I will note, um, my crew only got B rank this time. Uh, but my crew is only 21 people, it turns out. Surprise! I thought we were 30 out of 30, but apparently some people left. I was looking in the Discord, the crew Discord. I need to read my crew Discord more often. I just haven't been talking to my crew that much. And I, I looked over and I'm like, huh. Apparently, the leadership didn't realize there's only 21 out, of 20, uh, 21 out of 30 people either. So yeah, we're only B, B tier this time, but it's fine. And I don't super need the Valor Badges, so I'm not too stressed about it. And yes, I didn't get a T just for this occasion. So I did a video on this setup, but there should be about a four to five turn clear. And the thing is, the reason why I'm always hesitant to do United Fight is this is going to be literally it. Um, probably about three hours. <laughs> That's probably how long I would do it today. I don't know if I will stream for that whole period, but I'll stream for a bunch of it. I'm particularly dependent on you folks to keep me sane today, because man, United Fight's important, but I still find it incredibly boring. Hello, Fikura, welcome. Glad you could catch my uh, stream live. Okay, so, Nakabe Dogu, Fast, so I Nakabe Liberation, which is the assassin of Mirio and Rosette. Nakabe Narmaya's assassin. Use my nuke and Illnut. Tag team attack. And then drink our juicy. Oh, we got my notification. Yeah, that's probably the best way to keep up on when I'm streaming since I've tried to consistently stream on Saturday for a while now, but I uh, like. I can't promise I will be consistent into the far into the future because, like, yeah, I stream when I feel like it these days. Alright, so this should be a clean four turn kill, I think. We'll talk about cheese tea, because that's currently my thing. I've had this from a lot of different places now, and like, I know like, people are super serious about cheese tea, you're like, you're not supposed to drink it with a boba tea lid. You're supposed to like, hold it at an angle, so you get that little mix of the cheese foam and the tea. It's a real pain to ask to do it that way. And I also really don't feel like pulling the lid off this thing. And also I like stabbing the thing with the, the straw. But it, it does make getting the two mixed weird. And you're not supposed to stir it up either, and it's like, you know what? Tell me live my life. So, I will probably stir this up at some point. Cheese tea aficionada is what the way. I think places that are more serious about Cheese tea is our main thing. Um, have a different cup that lets you do that. But a lot of places are primarily like boba tea focused, um, and boba tea machines are like, you know, very specific. Like they, they, they pre like it's iconic to seal this lid on top. So I think a lot of people just repurpose those machines. So, I've been thinking about it a little bit as I've been doing this. Man, Ilnut, like, I think more than any other character I've seen in a while, 
is so specifically built for United Fight. Because she's both perfect for, like, the one-turn kill setup, but also, like, her debuff is exactly five turns, can't be reused, is guaranteed to land. Like, it's, like, entirely, like, they're approaching this from, uh, hey, we needed to build a character specifically for you for United Fight. Like, how would we build her? That's ill not. I do expect to see her fall off um, when we get into um, NM100, just because that'll be a longer fight. But for um, for OTKs for NM90 and NM95, she's just so well suited. Yeah, my team did win the last uh, the last round. As I was mentioning at the start, though, we're in uh, B tier this time because my crew is only 21 people. Which is a little bit awkward. It makes these fights really awkward. So I think instead of like really pushing and win the fight, I'll probably just hit a quota for myself. The one I listed in the notes is um, 30 million honor because that's my crew's minimums. But I might go for 50 mil. We'll see. I need to 40 box this one. So, um, so I will likely be pushing decently hard. Skip, 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 skip. Gotta go faster. Okay, so the four, the four turns seems to be decently consistent. I was a little bit concerned about the consistency of it when I put that video yesterday, but it seems to be pretty consistent. Okay, okay. Let's see, we're getting 9 million, or sorry, 900,000 honor per clear, so we've got to do something like, what, 33 clears? Less than that, like, math, like, 31 clears, I guess, to get 30 mil, so we've done, what, two? So, yeah, we'll try and go faster. Oh my god. Yeah, the reason I don't usually stream United Fight is I kind of just like turn my brain off and just like stare at the stream and try not to drool. Because <laughs> uh, it's just such a slog. Okay, I'm gonna try and be quick. So refresh. Activate Snarmaya stuff. Apex nothing is Mind of Peace, Summon Ariel. Or Summon um, Dogu, rather. Liberation. Peace out. Tag team. Fresh. Attack. Refresh. <laughs> uh. Hanged Hangman. Attack. Refresh. I held charge attack because I'm an idiot, but it works out apparently. I guess it was totally. F I didn't mean to hold charge attack, but that might actually be faster because that push. Ooh, did we just find an optimization? Is it actually faster? Because, like, then I don't have to wait for a walkout. That might actually save some time. So I think in the video I put up, there's like a 1 minute 27 second clear, but I think if I hold the charge attack until the last bit, it actually goes faster. We're gonna try that. We're gonna try that. We're gonna try that. Gotta go. Okay, Ariel. Roaring crew. Fluorescent. Clarity, armor break. Perennial beauty. Force of the guess. Attack. I'm legitimately curious when I get this down. Attack, refresh. Okay. Summon Dogu. Liberation. Apex of Nothingness. Mind of Peace. Peace out. Tag Team Attack. Uh, 
Ah, refresh. What are we doing? Keep it sub animation. Go faster. Attack. Refresh. So here we'll activate Protege, Hangman, we'll attack. Refresh. And then show check. Refresh. Done. Okay. How fast do you think that was? I'm thinking a minute 20. That should be faster than my previous clear because I didn't have to wait for a lockout. Oh, get it. That was a minute 17. Not bad. Not bad. I'd probably get down to a minute 15 if I ever find that. Any lower? Probably not. We'll have to probably remove some buttons. Have I four starred Sarasa yet? Uh, I have not. Uh, sorry, have I six starred Sarasa? Four star. Have I six starred Sarasa yet? Not yet. Um, I have six starred uh, six. And I would expect I will six star Sarasa. Uh, if I were optimistic, I might six star Sarasa next year. Unless they make the process easier. It's just such a slog to, to do these that I'm probably only going to do. Probably six and Twain song this year. It's weird to talk about years, um, but we'll see. Uh, unless Neo and Esser become very good, or unless one of the ones that are already um, transcended become very, very, very good at at um, at one fifty, because uh, not because you can't take them that far yet. Uh, I'm not going to change my priority off of six and song for the time being because I'm pretty confident those are two I want to do first. That said, um, six star Sarasa is pretty good. Like, I saw that she gets try strike and I'm like, okay, you know, you've got my attention. I think the other thing to think about is like, who would I actually kick out of my setups to do it? I was wondering, um, before the United Fight, if, like, 6-star Octo and 6-star Sarasa would be, like, in, like, the meta teams. But I haven't seen them being run. Uh, maybe they'll show up for, um, NM100 and above. But yeah, they're not a priority for me at the moment. But I don't doubt that they're very good. It's just such an investment. Such an investment that I have to be pretty picky. Um... What are we doing? Attack. Okay, so hold here. Hangman. Attack. And then done. Wait. And then done? Did I get charmed? Did I fuck that up? I didn't activate Protisher! I had activate Protege, I'm a dummy. I'm a dummy. Oh god, the hardest part about six starring Eternal? All of it. <laughs> All of it. Um, none of it's not a pain in the ass. Um, quick recap though, since um, some people might be wondering here. Well, we use Sarasa since that's an example. Uh, to six star an Eternal, you need. I don't mind talking about this because it gives me a second to stop staring at United Fight. Uh, you need to get. Like. You know, 20 Damascus Crystal is actually kind of a pain in the ass. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, uh, like, not gonna lie, it really irritates me that there's no way to down convert uh, a Damascus Bar into Crystals. Because, like. Because I have Damascus bars. I need crystals. Why can't I just like hit the thing with a hammer and like break it into crystals? But yeah, um, th that's annoying. That's not really insurmountable. The halos is it's 80 fucking halos. It's a pain in the ass. They're not hard to get. 50 of these fragments of six dragon raids. Not hard to get. All just kind of a pain in the ass. But this thing is like the one that would take the most time for first step. The, 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 the treasure. Um, and this is probably going to be significant hurdle for people because it's a, another step that requires a gold bar so like you know depending on how many gold bars you have having to spend another gold bar is a little bit of a hurdle and then 200 act fragments will take a while 
120 rusted axes or like some amount of rusted axes and steel bars is actually kind of a pain in the ass also. None of these steps are on their own like kind of like a huge hurdle besides the gold bar because gold bars are limited. But all of it together, giant pain in the ass. And then the next step, I believe, can I even see the next step? I can't even see the next step on six. But the next step, I believe, involves um, my cat is having an asthma attack, if you're wondering what that sound is. Ah, oh, god, where is it? The next step is going to require blue sky spirits. That's a little bit annoying, but that's not that bad. And then you need the lapis merit from... Um... So yeah, the, the first part I showed you was just for the to get him to 110. And then the next step, I believe, requires that blue sky spirit plus a bunch of other shit. And then there's also the freaking lapis merit, which you have to get from uh, valor badges. Which is 300 Valor Badges, which I should actually just probably pick up right now. In fact, I... You know what? We'll pick it up right now. I have one. I want to get a second one just have on hand. Yes, we'll trade. So yeah, there's a Valor... There's a Lapis Merit. Um, then, but I think, like, I think it's 120 and 130. It might... It might be 110 to 120. I can't remember. I don't have it in front of me. Um, the annoying part is that it takes... Um, it takes 50 more... Fist shard, well, whatever weapon shards. So you have to 40 box again. And like, or you can use a gold bar. Whichever hurts you less, I guess. But like, yes, it's all bad. It's all bad. <laughs> None of it on its own is terrible. All of it together, it's all bad. Um, I think... I'm just wildly annoyed that I have to 40 box again. Like, that's not even that bad, but it's like, again, there's already a huge pain in the ass the first time. I might actually use a gold bar for that step instead of if, instead of 40 boxing, which is not a great, like, investment of a gold bar, but at the same time, I also think I don't... I would rather not 40 box again. Uh, other, like, um, thing to keep in mind there is now with... Um, Nine fight, you can get those new foundation quartz, which are used for the new foundation weapons from Arcarum, and also um, along that same lines, you can quite significantly speed up how fast you get um, the evokers from Arcarum with new foundation quartz. So, like, spending an entire Unite fight 40 boxing isn't free anymore it, it, it's coming at the cost of um it's coming at the cost of being able to get on karma booker faster so yeah it's all bad i sped i speed ran 130 sarasa for united fight i've yet to use her at any comp yet lol yeah <laughs> lol i like that's what i thought might happen so there was a brief moment where i was like should I get Octo or Sarasa? And then I was thinking about it and looking at their kits. And I'm like, I don't know that they're actually gonna be that big a deal for this one, so I didn't I didn't shift to them. I would say out of all of them, like right now, um here let me show you what I mean. Um so you can trade for new foundation quartz. And the quartz can be traded um for really like a lot of mats for you know or for uh, Arcarum. So, I would much rather 40 box these fucking things than 40 box another Revenant weapon. So that's kind of a calcula uh, calculation that's got to go. Yeah, it's not hard to 40 box these. Well, okay. It's always a lot of time. But if you're well set up, it's not that hard to 40 box, considering I can 40 box pretty, pretty reasonably by just doing this over and over again. I get a video on this, but if you want to see my OTK on stream, this is it. Like, you know, do that a f like a few hundred times and you 40 box, maybe a thousand times and you 40 box. But like I said, now you're, you're do, you're getting those weapons instead of the quartz and the quartz can trade for so much Arcarum stuff. Like the quartz significantly speeds up, um, uh, speeds up getting an invoker or is also completely required to get the new foundation weapon so i would much rather get that shit than 40 boxing
Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, here, is there a trade screen? Well, I'll give you an example. Where can I actually trade this garbage? Garbage? It's not garbage. It's all very important. Uh, can I trade from this? So, like, for example, if you need Saphira stones, you can trade a quartz for three stones. Which I believe is 6,000 Arca points. Yeah, hang on. We can check right here. So an Arca point is, um, is 2,000. So, Saphira stone is 2,000 Arca points. So a quartz would trade for three of those. So one quartz is 6,000 Arca points. So now every single box for your and fight, you can either get a roughened weapon or you get 6,000 Arca points. So like now it's not like it's not free, right? You like if you're if you're going to 40 box, you're doing it at the cost of not being able to get those quartzes. So yes, I I made a video on the six star Eternals. I'm kind of looking at them as like project characters. Like you know, I really like this character, and they're pretty good. So I'll spend time working on it, but I'm not really gonna stress too much about it. Unless one of them gets to 150 and they're like, okay, clearly meta-defining. In that case, then I would try and push hard for one, because that's just the kind of person I am. But uh, right now, like, I've looked at all of them extensively um, up to 130, and I would say 6 is probably the one that benefits the most. I'm biased, I'm a dark main, but also um, Game of Kamigami kind of agree with me. Um, that might change when we look at the 150 picture, but right now that, that seems to be the case. And I would say even with 6, uh, he gets a lot better, but like... It doesn't compl it doesn't drastically change the fact that like, 6 is, is already meta for Dark, and it just makes him better at what he already does. It doesn't completely like change the character. I think a character like Song in Why Wanna Do... Why I wanna um, why I wanna prioritize getting her is um, I used to play her a lot. One of my favorite characters. I'm, I've mentioned this before, and uh, she's kind of fallen off the meta. Like I don't see many people running Song. Uh, Song is Toyin, by the way, for us Gaijins, because uh, they have different names in English and Japanese for some reason. Um, so like Song's character, I wanted to do because um, she's just not really meta at the moment, but once you um you transcend her she actually you can actually make a much better case for your, her being a meta light character um so that that's a little bit different but that said it doesn't make her so good that uh i would say she's meta defining for light she's she's a good character for light just like six is a very good character for dark, um, but it doesn't make it so like if you don't have song or six at six star, then you're just going to be struggling against everyone else who does. And I think for the amount of grind it is, that's just me, not a priority. <laughs> yeah, I think honestly, like. Um, if you're, if you haven't started the Transcendence process yet, I would wait to see what they're like at 150. Because I would entirely not be surprised if the 150s came out and one character clearly emerged as like, okay, if you don't have this character transcended, then you're gonna just be struggling against anyone in that element that does have the character transcended. Because none of the characters, I would say, are like that yet. Like, none of them. They're all good. They're, they all make the character better at what they do. In a few cases, they make the character actually usable again against modern characters. Because some characters are just out of date. Um, but none of them are like, okay, you're going to just not be a... You're not going to be a, a good at this element if you don't have them. And if you want an example of that, there's like plenty of characters across various elements where if you don't have them, like, you're just going to struggle in the net. Like, Summer Zoe is a classic example for Dark, but like, there's a ton of characters like that. And none of the, the, the Transcended Eternals are like that. Which I would say is good. I'm glad. I'm really glad. Yeah, Dread Barrage actually coming out does make this less of a nosebleed. Like, 
As much as Red Barrage is also nosebleed, the fact that now there's two events where you get Valor Badges helps. Because um, you can get 20 weapons, uh, Revenant weapons from Red Barrage as well, so like, that's also now an option. Uh, I forgot what button's gonna hit. Attack. Yeah, that's, that's what button's gonna hit. Yeah, six does uh, is interesting. It's it's weird that Dark and Fire only. The comment from chat um, for people can't see chat. Someday I will have chat in this window this side, but it ain't gonna be today. I forgot to hit Protege because I'm an idiot. So um, fuck me, I guess. Uh, mm, uh, so this is what happens if you don't stub ball, dodge roll, or something to counter that 25% that trigger. You get charmed. And getting charmed sucks, because it means your character won't attack, which makes this take forever. And it also takes two clarities to get rid of the charm, because it's buffered by a poison, so the first clarity only removes the poison. So yes, don't fuck up the 25% trigger like I just did. But yeah, the comment from chat is that um, Fix has to be strong, because he's the only dark uh, eternal. And yeah, it's weird that Fire and Dark only get one Eternal. I don't know why they did that. Like, why couldn't there just be 12 Eternals? Just saying. I know, like, you can make the argument because, like, the one, there's one for each weapon, but Sarasa uses two weapons. She's Axe and Sword. So, like, yeah. I mean... And, like, while we're on it, why is there only, um... Why is there only one Dark and one Light Evoker? Like, what gives? What gives? But yeah, um, interestingly, I would say, um, Tian, Esser, uh, also pretty, 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 pretty strong for, for fire. So I guess the solo element ones are, are fine. Plus, Esser was always the one people would prioritize, even if they didn't mainliner or frontliner, because she gives you the, the item drop rate buff. Her 5-star definitely did a lot to make her more of a legit frontline row character, though, which is nice. Yeah, I would honestly, if you're thinking about starting to grind for an Eternal 6-star, just wait. Like, August is when uh, Neo and... Esser, Neo and Esser get their um, transcendence. So the first thing to look for is how much better does it make them? Entirely possible that um, they become amazing. Like Esser's alright, pretty good. Um, Neo, I would say, has kind of fallen off outside of a few situations. So you know they could become amazing. But I believe August is also when they let you take all the characters to 150. And so far, each of the increments, one, 110, 120, 130, have added a decent thing to the characters. So we would get 140 and 150, which could be significant. I would be shocked if taking the character 150 didn't give them something good. I'll tell you what I'm not looking forward though to is uh, to is the grind, the, X, the, the XP grind to 150. That's gonna be insane. Yeah, screw your stupid trigger. That's what I think of it. Uh, is this gonna be a one turn? I feel like we're slightly off in damage. I wanna see the numbers, see how close this gets us. Uh, uh, we should be fine. The chain burst would take them like 2%. Er, the chain burst would probably finish them off. Though it doesn't, Silva's in the background, she will finish them off. Chambers will probably take him to 1%. 2%. Oh, oh, barely. Okay, yeah, we're so good. We're so good. Yeah, you know, that's how you can talk about the material grind of 140 and 150. Like, I... Okay, here, we've been talking about... Let me just pull it up. Um, do I have the window open? Okay, let's talk about Transcendence real quick since I've been blabbing about it. So transcendence, right? Um, first step uh, is 80 halos, 56 dragon item, uh, 20 Damascus crystals, 100k rupees, and then 
a gold brick, 200 of the weapon shards, and then 200 of their element change relics. So that's, you know, a gold brick. That, that's the main thing. Stage 2, so to 120, is like 50 Omega um, Essences, which isn't... It's a grind, but it's not that bad. Um, just create pens for them. 300 urns, which shouldn't be bad. This is the one that really annoys me. 50 more uh, weapon fragments. So that's another... Um, that's another 40 box or a gold bar, whichever you prefer. I am probably, really, I, I am honestly thinking about just gold barring it. And then, what else is there? Um, this is also uh, 100 primeval horns, 100 legendary merits. Those aren't too bad. The blue sky spirit is 20,000 CP, which might be an issue for some people. Um, but honestly, you can trade moons for them at a pretty good rate if you are willing to trade moons for them. 5 million rupees, whatever. And then next step is, it's so funny that this is a step. Complete the six dragon advent uh, fight associated with the eternal. So if it was six, it'd be Fidel. And then complete, host and clear the raid, the six dragon raid with the, the associated with the eternal. So Fidel, the six dragon raid for Fidel as well. It's so funny to me that that's a requirement. Why is that? You need the materials from them for the previous steps. I find it. Highly unlikely that there's going to be many people that have gotten this far that haven't done the six dragon fights, right? Like, how does that even happen? But the main thing here is the Lapis Merit. So that's 300, 300 Valor badges. So, yeah. Who knows? Who knows what the next step will be? It will likely be... It will definitely be grindy. Um, they haven't used Akasha mats. They haven't used... Um, ultimate Fallen mats, they haven't used Lucilius HL mats, um, or like even Lucilius Smash at all, they haven't used Belial mats, they haven't used who is their um, Zoe mats, Grand Order mats. So I wouldn't be surprised if it started pulling in some of those materials. Um, honestly, wouldn't be shocked if it was another gold bar. Wouldn't be shocked if they were like, hey, Sunstone or an Evolite. I wouldn't be shocked at any of those things. Uh, I also wouldn't be shocked if it was completely new material that no one has. Um, that you have to grind for. That I, I find that actually fairly likely. I'll make that bet now. I bet you to take them 150, it's going to take some new thing that we don't currently have. Could be wrong. Uh, that's highly speculative, but I would not be surprised if someone clipped this uh, when it comes out, if I'm right. But uh, that would make a lot of sense to me if there was a new map or a new raid or something that you needed stuff from. I mean, I have huge stockpiles of all the existing mats, which is why it's, I, I kind of am suspecting it'll be, there'll be at some point a new mat. Just because um, I imagine they want to draw the process out a little bit. Like, if you look at the current stuff that's required, so Lapis Merit burns CP, right? Um, which there wasn't a lot of outlets for. And I think that's how they're using this whole grind. Um, to um, to just clean out some of the materials that people have stockpiled. Um, so CP, I have 28,000. It takes 20,000. Um, Valor bat. So uh, the lap. Sorry, that's the for the blue sky thing. The blue sky spirit is what takes the CP. The lapis merit takes valor badges. Um, I had like 1k valor badges coming into this because um, I've just been building up the surplus of valor badges. So it cleared that out a bit too. So like I suspect like with these maps they want to clear out stuff people have a huge stockpile of. But I feel like if there's two more jumps, um, 130, 140, and 140, 150, then they've got room to clear out the rest of the stuff people have and also room to add a new thing. So I would suspect there'll be a new thing. I lost track of how many of these done. 
I think we've done like seven of these, something like that. That sounds right. Hey, that thing. Oh. Refresh. I wish this boss didn't have a summon animation. All the United Fight bosses, I think, lately have had that summon animation, but uh, that, 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 that two seconds it takes for the boss to show up is super annoying. Yeah, I think people have done and suggested I do that I haven't really paid much attention to is changing the animations on some of my summons I use to be a faster animation. I haven't looked into that at all. What is the does anyone know what animation people usually change their summons to? Because like there is an animation people like to use that's faster. Like that's very fast. Um so let's see here. We're at 10 mil, we're trying to get 30 mil at least on stream, so we've got about 21 more of these to go. Honestly, changing out the animation is like one of those tweaks where it's like, how much time am I really going to save? That, that, that Uriel was like a second and a half. Not like it takes that long. Rose Queen's the fastest? Let me try that. I'll switch after this. You know, what's kind of sad is like, I don't know if anyone ever like looks to see these animations, but some of these animations for the summon are really cool. Like here, like, let's see what Doga looks like. And everyone fucking has these things on skip, including me, because like honestly, who's got time for that shit? But it's like, it must be, I, I, it does, it's sad that like no one sees these animations, because these are cool. Look at, he's got a chest can, I never knew. I never knew what that laser beam came from. These are really cool animations and no one watches them. And I don't blame people for not watching them, because who's got time for that? But at the same time, it does suck that no one watches them. I'm sure the artists who works on like artists who work on this, uh, on those animations must like feel like they have such a thankless job. Because everyone just skips them. Yes, take a shower. Take a shower if you feel like taking a shower. It, it wasn't a command. <laughs> yeah, like, hang hey, man, they all got cool animations. Granted, I am glad that it's not a requirement to watch those, because, like, I also play FGO now and then. And as cool as the Noble Phantasm animations are, there are times where I'm like, why can't I skip these? Why, why is it, why do I need to see, uh, why do I need to see Saber fucking leap into the clouds and, like, you know, Rongo Minya the ground over and over and over again? Like, I get it. But it's fine. Like, those things are cool. So I guess it, like, yeah. It is a bummer that no one sees the, these, but, like, at the same time, I guess, for this game, like, the fact that I'm refreshing to skip animations anyways... I guess I'm thankful that, like, you can skip these. What's Uriel look like? What do you look like? Like, these are so cool and no one watches them. Anyways, I say that... I, I say that and I immediately put them back to skip, because who's got time for that shit? <laughs> I am kind of tempted to just leave them on for a while, see what they all look like, but not right now, since I'm only just using two of them over and over again. Let's see, let's see, let's see, what are we doing? Go goo. Ah, liberation, apex of nothingness, um, mind of peace, peace out. Tag team, let's go. Ha <laughs> ha 
I need to time this and see how much time I actually save by refreshing here. I definitely still, I'm pretty sure I save time by refreshing on the tag team. It's not much time, but I'm fairly certain I save time there. Yeah, like, right? Comment from chat is that they've never seen that Uriel animation. Uh, Wagger from chat says they've never seen that Uriel animation. They use they use Uriel daily. But yeah, I couldn't tell you what the Hades animation is. I couldn't tell you what the Quillen animation is. I use Quillen all the freaking time. Okay, uh, let's see. Rose Queen is fastest, huh? I want to switch Uriel to. I even do this. Wait, I've never done this before. How do you switch the animation on these guys? Am I stupid? Oh, is it only the main summon you switch the animation on? Really? Oh, okay. Well, that's less of a benefit if we can't change on everybody else. But I will change Titan to Rose Queen. Because I, I, now I'm curious. You really gotta change out on anyone else. Okay, well, that, that's less of a significant change for me, I guess. Now I gotta flip back the animation. That's only main summon. Okay. 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 Grand Blue, have it your way. Have it your way. It's funny that they even let you change that. What I should do is change my weapon and charge attack animation to something cooler. Though I'm using a skin, so I wouldn't actually see that anyways. That's the other thing. I like using skins um, on Jita. I never see the, the weapon animations anymore either. So I never know, like, that's a cool charge attack animation. Refresh. We're gonna turn animations back on so I can see what the Titan, the Rose Queen. Well, no, I hit the wrong button. Oh, oh, hit the wrong button. Hit the wrong button. Uh, standard. Save. Oh no, we have to watch Dogu again. This is not an insignificant amount of time. That's like a good five seconds. It feels like. So. Again, don't blame anybody for skipping them. Uh, yep. Every so uh, comment from uh, Lachuwu, La Lachuwu. Every so often, I remember that putting that uh, putting skins on weapons and summons is an option. I'll have an afternoon of fun. Yeah, I need to spend the day just like looking at all the, the different summon animations because I'm sure some of them are pretty badass. Okay, we'll get to see what Rose Queen looks like here. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like what she's putting down. Alright, turn it back off. We're just here for efficiency, not for cool animations. You know efficiency? I feel like with full auto, like, I'm kind of curious if they'll ever take the next step and just let you, like, set up, like, program what you want your turn to be on repeat, instead of just having, like, whatever, whatever the priority is. Why is my game lagging? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Why is my game lagging? Huh? Why are you lagging, Ramblo? Are you lagging because I turned on the animations? Did I flip something? Oh, that was speed fast. That's why you're lagging. Oh, whoops. Like, that's so slow. But yeah, I wonder if they'll ever, like, make the full auto a little bit smarter. 
like either let it use green skills or let you like just basically program your turn so like um it does exactly what you want to do on repeat i kind of feel like maybe that's a step too far from them and they don't want people to just automate the game completely but i mean full auto already is kind of tiptoeing down that line so like you're gonna give us full auto just give us the better version i don't know I'm sure it comes up all the time in Grand Blue HQ. Alright, Predator, Hangman, Attack. I think NM, what, 100 comes out tomorrow, which is Sunday, which I guess means Monday is the final finals battle. Hmm. United fights what? It's four fights, right? Uh, in my brain, uh, it's always been four fights, but part of me is like, wait, no, is it three fights now? It's four fights, right? They didn't, or did they shorten it? For some reason, I keep thinking they shortened it at some point. But I might be crazy. Yeah, it's four. Okay, that's what I thought. What? Why do you keep thinking? Did it used to be five? Did it used to be five days of finals? Is that what I'm thinking of? Okay. Back into it. It's the fu It's four days of finals versus another crew, and then one day of the of just killing the boss, right? Yeah, I don't know why I thought it was more days than that. Also, you would think I would remember by now, given how many fucking times I've done United Fight, but. I know, I think I tried and banish United Fight from my mind as soon as it's over. Another news, Mir and Rosette. I am surprised at how good they are. Like, I've not, I, to be fair, I have not really thought about them uh, until this came up. And I was like, oh yeah, their character exists. Oh yeah, there's a lot of people running them. I wonder why. And I looked into it and I'm like, oh wait, no, they're actually like extremely well suited for this fight. Uh, they're really good. Yeah, the Yuri couple, I'm into it. The power of woman loves woman. WLW. Look at it! They just completely neutralized the stupid trigger. Take that! And now perish! Vanish in the darkness. Did anyone watch their Fate episode? That's one of the few Fate episodes I actually read through. Not Fate episode, events I read through. Man, I love that event. Because Kag is also front and center in it, and like, man, Kag. Kag. Like, for as goofy as Kag is, Kag gives some harsh life lessons out. Like, she has no hesitation to tell Muriel that she's a bad person and to, like, live the consequences of her choices. That, the quote from Queenly Banana, or Queen Banana Lee, sorry, that event felt like a whole ma manga plot line. I've read Yuri manga with less plot. Yeah, no, I love that event. That event is so good. I uh, I think I ticketed them actually, if I remember correctly, correctly, because I 
I didn't have anything else to spend ticket on. And I'm like, oh, these two characters were pretty interesting in that event. And I took it with them. Oh, uh, is, uh, yeah, the, the, the... Not a charge bar. Oh, God. I fucked up. I didn't, I didn't clear the shorted. No! <laughs> oh, it hurts. It hurts. <laughs> oh, it hurts me. I fucked up. Wait, no, I could. Oh my god. Okay, we're just gonna mash our way through this and try and fix this. I could actually. This actually won't do it. Because this will remove the attack down, not the short. Gah! No! <laughs> Everything's. Coming off the rails. Oh god. What have I done? Now we're gonna get charmed. Everything's terrible. Can I push her to dead? No. Oh my god. Okay, well, it's fine. We'll live with the consequences are bad choices. And this is what happens when you don't pay attention. Also, particularly annoying because I wanted to look at something. Oh my god, everyone's charmed! Everyone's charmed! This is the fucking worst! Oh no! Oh no! Oh god. So this is what happens if you don't fucking sub that trigger. Everyone gets charmed, and when you try and attack, this garbage happens. And then you hate everything. My cat, my cat is upset. My cat's like, what the fuck did you do? What's wrong? Are you mad that I didn't sub that trigger? I'm also mad that I didn't sub that trigger. Stay, come here. Stay, come here. Okay, fine. Don't come here. Okay, okay. It's dead. There we go. Okay. Oof. Oof. Ooh, I'm mad. What do you want, Stiggy? So yeah, the comment I wanted to respond to um, was... Uh, a lot of these characters that people brushed off end up being really good whenever United Fight comes around. Like, I'm seeing a lot of Fio this uh, this United Fight. That's from Gumi's. Uh, and yeah, no, I, I was actually looking at her earlier. Um, Fio is uh, Fiorito. Um, the punchy girl with really great abs, I think is how I would characterize her. That's basically her characterization. She's got abs and punches things. But uh, she's actually pretty interesting because um, she can you you can sack her health to uh, give her double strike, and then she can also give herself guts a recurring guts for a number of hits plus a clear. Uh, and then she, if you have a lot of melee weapons in your grid, then she gets significantly better. I think at three melee weapons in your grid, she's guaranteed triple. It basically, scales with like I think it's like attack up with one melee weapon. Yeah, it's dig. Hey, no. Diggy, no! <laughs> attack up with one melee weapon, um... Diggy! <laughs> attack up with one melee weapon, defense up with two, and then, like, guaranteed, like, multi-attack with three, and so on. Up to five, I think? And she's actually really good. Like, if I were actually running uh, Enmity Earth, I would probably actually run her, because she can self-activate for Enmity, because this drops her health significantly, so, like... Uh, I was looking at her for a bit. Yeah, like, uh, <laughs> Sky Piercer's best friend. You wish you had the Fio. I wish I had an Earth Sky Piercer. <laughs> I think the Earth Sky Piercer is the harder part of that equation. I do have, an, I have a Dark Sky Piercer, and Sky Piercer is one of those ones where, like, man, is it just the one you want to make in every element? Because what a fucking nosebleed that is. But I wanted to look at Kitty. Uh, that's my crew. Uh, rankings. The cat is throwing an absolute fit. Um, I might have the AFK Sacrifium, but are you using Skypiercer? Yeah, are you using Skypiercer? 
And this is the team they're running. Pengi, uh, Mirian Reset, and uh, Zeta and Visaraga. Man, I don't want to make this thing for any... I don't want to make another superlative weapon. <laughs> as much as I like having a dark sky piercer, I only have it because like I'm a dark main. And I was just like, I want to flex. So I spent 150 moons to make this thing. Or 140 moons to make this thing. Wait, no, 160 moons makes make this thing. Because 100 for the weapon and then 3 dama. And man, I could really use the 8 dama that that could have been. But at the same time, I do like having a superior weapon. But that's like some serious wailing if you have like Sky Piercer in every element. Because it's legit. I can see an argument for making it. Kitty, kitty, you need to calm down. You need to calm down. Why are you so mad, Steak? I, I gave you dinner. I gave you dinner. You can't just jump over my keyboard, Steaky. He's so angry. It's like, why are you doing the stupid, the stupid event instead of playing with me? I play with you all day, Stiggy. I play with you all day. You can sit and watch. My cat is rather large. He's not fat, he's just very big. Um, and... He does feel like a small child sometimes. Yeah. You want to go outside? Is there nothing you need to kill? Like, is there no bird you can go chase outside? That's what you were doing earlier. Whoop. You can't be hungry, I just fed you. Unless you want seconds. I don't think second dinner is a thing, Stig. Second breakfast, maybe, but not second dinner. Oh no, um, so Lachu was saying that they have a kitten and they had to leave work and went home recently because the kitten was mashing a keyboard and messaging their entire server. Yeah, Stig has definitely sent messages into my work slack before. I think people at work at least understand when they see like random gibberish, that's my cat. <laughs> ah, I love kitties. They're such a pain in the ass, but I love them. I think I'm gonna give Stiggy some treats. Uh, I tell you what, I'm gonna go give Stiggy a treat, um, and I will full auto. <laughs> I'm gonna put full auto on for one of these and go get Stiggy a treat, and probably come back to my whole team dead. Bet you that's what happens. So we've done 16 mil. We're basically halfway there for 30 at least. Probably want to go 50. I don't know how to do that on stream because I do need to get dinner at some point. But okay, this one is going to be full auto. It's going to be full auto as soon as I. I'll at least set up first, I guess. Okay, okay. Now it's full auto. I will be right back. Do you want treat? Do you want treat? Is that why you're being a pain in the ass? You want a treat? Come on, treat. You want a Thanks. 
I'm back. Are we still alive? Is it still alive? What's going on? App now has treats. I'm also putting a pillow in my lap so we can climb up. Wait, headphones, why are you being dumb? There we go. So, yeah, I usually put a pillow on my lap because Piggy usually sits on my chair and whines at me um, wanting to come up, but he doesn't like to sit just like in my lap. lap. So I have, to, I have to make a platform from basically, basically, I, I, I reorganize my life to please my cat. He is truly the one in charge here. You ran out of AP, Temptation of the Leave United Fight to play Inazuma? Oh, in Genshin? Did Inazuma finally come out? I haven't played Genshin uh, since I think about two months after release. I played a lot of Genshin when it came out and then I completely fell off the wagon. Did, um, uh, the... What's it called? Did the leader for Inazuma, the Lightning uh, Empress, or whatever, the, the Lightning Shogun, whatever her name is, did she come out yet? Oh, drop six hours? Did she come out yet? Did that character come out yet? That's that might that would be a thing that might actually get me re to reinstall Genshin. <laughs> Not yet. Okay. Well. But I officially still don't care. Uh, the thing that would make me reinstall Genshin if she came out and it was um, it, and it was May from um, from Honkai, and you know actually, and not, you know actually, have they revealed her yet, or is she still a huge question mark? Because if they haven't revealed her yet, official from Genshin is now in Honkai for a crossover event. So, it's all come together. I said, I, I would get, not that I played Genshin in a while, but I would guess since Fischl is now in Honkai, they're probably gonna do a reverse crossover where Honkai, so Mei comes over as the Lightning Empress, the Lightning Shogun, whatever her name is. Her art's been reviewed, it is her. Okay, yeah, I guess I'm reinstalling Genshin and then spending like a fucking thousand dollars to like, pss six constellation six her i'm not gonna do that i, I might do that <laughs> have i seen ball in genshin uh no i have not looked into genshin at all so i like genshin but i did everything and then i ran out of shit to do and then i got bored and then i just hard stopped playing i haven't played since which tends to be how it goes with any of these games except for Grand Blue. Grand Blue is the one where I never run out of shit to do. Because everything's so grindy. Honkai is fun. I really like Honkai. Uh, I have not played the official event. I probably should play the official event so I can get official. I try not to play multiple gacha games at the same time though, because I'm really bad about whaling, as you know, I'm sure, but. Okay, I've got to go look her up, because I'm curious. Uh, what is it doing? Protégé. So, let's see. Genshin... What do I even Google? Genshin Impact Lightning Emperor. Did they reveal her? You said they revealed her art? What's her actual name? Did they reveal her art? I don't see her. I forgot what her name is. No, it's like, it's like Lightning Shogun or something, isn't it? Lightning Shogun. Oh, it's her name. Is her name Paul? Is that... Oh, it is her! It literally is May. Okay. Uh, mm, ha, ooh, yep.
Wait, is she not actually May? Does she just kind of look like May? I mean, she looks extremely like May. Okay, sure. You know what? That's enough. I'm sold. Does she have a katana? I'd be shocked if she didn't. Yep, she has a katana in her art. Okay, yep. <laughs> Guess I am reinstalling Genshin. Ugh. You know, I don't have any problems with Genshin, but I kind of... I kind of... I kinda, oh, her animations are out too? She has a sword that comes out of her chest, like Utena style? Like revolutionary girl Utena style? Oh man. Checking all my boxes. Fine. When she drops, will be my glorious return to Genshin. And then we'll do a Genshin stream where I fucking wail like a complete moron on a game I'll play for a couple months. And then stop again. As it goes, I suppose. Now, the real question is, does she have... Does she have a Kiana, a girlfriend, uh, in Genshin as well? It's so easy. All I take, it all takes. Uh, all it takes to get me back on. I really should play Genshin more to justify the fact that I have three fucking five-star Constellation Six characters there. So here's another question. Is, is everything in Genshin still restricted by uh, resin? Is that still an issue, or did they relax that? Forgot to hit a button. My bad. Because that was a list complaint everyone had when I was playing. You haven't seen her interact with a man yet. Well, that's promising. Resin never really bothered me that much in Genshin. It did, but I was also, like, I was wailing pretty hard in that game, so I would buy all the resin refills. But I know, like, resin was extremely tilting for a lot of people, especially folks that are free to play. So I'm kind of curious if they did anything with that. So I kind of fucked up a little bit and used my, uh, didn't use, um, Forceless, I guess. Turn one. Doesn't seem to have impacted my overall timing here, though. Oh my god, so I guess I'm gonna play Genshin. So I should also play Honkai and get Fischl. I was so happy, like... Cutting down the number of gacha games I play to basically just this and Puzzles and Dragons. And I haven't even really been playing Puzzles and Dragons. Every time you think you're out, they, they pull you back in. However that quote goes. I loaded up Ark Knights the other day. That's trouble as well. Isn't World Flipper already out? Or did, are they, is that like a global release? Uh, a friend showed me World Flipper... A, a friend showed me World Flipper a long time ago. I assume that was a JP release. Yeah, okay. Um, one... I guess I'm more in Queens these days, but um, when they showed me World Flipper... Um, I wasn't that interested, to be honest, because it wasn't really my art style. Like, I'm kind of an edgelord. Um, and I look at something like World Flipper, I'm like, ah, oh, man, that looks kind of too cute to me. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, I don't need to be edgy, I just need to not be, like, super, like, overwhelmingly cute all the time. So, a game that uh, I have also played quite a bit, and 
kind of regret wailing on is Princess Connect FinCon. And that game, super exactly that thing. Like, it's just way too cute all the time for me to really get into. In addition to PrintCon, it's extremely basic, I would say, to be fair. No hate, but like, it, it is kind of its thing. Um, like, its combat's just so basic, so, yeah. Kag is in World Flipper? Oh my god. I don't know, maybe I'll install it and check it out, but I, I, I don't know. It does intrigue me. It's like a gotcha pinball game, right? And then here's another question, I guess. Is the global version, like, months behind the JP version? Because that was always my issue with games, like, um, other than Ramblu. Like, I love that Ramblu only has one server. It's like... There's no being behind our head, you're just on, you just play Ramblue. You don't play on JP or EN, you just play Ramblue. It's all global. Because it's translated. Which, like, I think was, like, a uniquely genius thing that Ramblue did. Um, but I look at FGO, and, like, JP FGO, or rather, EN FGO is, like, literally, like, two to three years behind. Like, not even exaggerating, if you play FGO, you know what I'm talking about. It's like two or three years behind JP FGO, and they're not even trying to like close that gap. Like it is super, super fucking far behind JP. Yeah, two years, yeah. Like a friend was talking about how they got um uh they got um Caster Skahawk, and I'm like, oh yeah, she's gonna be good for the next couple of years. And like what? I'm like, yeah, she's gonna be meta until Castoria comes out. But you got a good two years before that happens, and they're like, wait, what? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so the question on, on World Clipper is like, if it's behind, do I really want to play on the global server, or do I just play the JP server? Because I hate playing a game that, that's, like, behind. I guess I could deal. Yeah, PrintCon is cute, uh, Lashiru, uh, but, like, it's... I mean, the, the comment is that PrintCon is cute, but I need some angst in my stories. I PrintCon seems a little bit angsty, but, like, some of the characters seem like they've got some angst. But, yeah, no, it's just, like, it seems so saccharine. Like... Like, cute all the time, and like, it's just, it's too much for me. Oh, they haven't said World Flipper would be behind or not, okay. You know, like, one of my favorite gacha games uh, is actually Girls Frontline, because that's the kind of story you like. Because Girls Frontline is fucking brutal. Like, if anyone plays Girls Frontline, like, the, the main characters go through, like, a tremendous amount of loss and trauma and growth. Like, characters die, like, um, characters get maimed, bad shit happens, and they, they like, how they uh, struggle and overcome that's kind of, like, the, the main, like, thread of the story. Because it's, it's a war story. Like, um, girls frontline, or having a slight anime, like, cute, like, sometimes cutesy veneer is, at its heart, like, a very rough very gritty war story uh and like i've always appreciated it because it's such a different tone than the rest of the games i should load that up again we're just talking about other gacha games that's what you missed <laughs> someone asked me about punching gray raven i haven't looked into it um is that a gacha game i wasn't quite sure what it was it looked like a uh, it looked like Honkai. Like, like, small battles that are challenging. With characters. <laughs> That's how I would characterize Honkai. It looks, it, it looks very much like Honkai, but a little bit, like, just darker in visuals. I've lost track of how many of these I've done. Uh, 
I don't know. I mean, I when someone asked me if I was gonna play Punching Gray Raven, it's like, I, yeah, maybe. Um, because I honestly don't really want to get into more gacha games, unless they do something like really compelling, or have really amazing lesbians <laughs> characters. But um, that 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 like that's what it takes to get me on board. But I I try to avoid picking up more gacha games because I just I I'm really bad about not getting sucked into them. As evidenced by, like, my experience with Genshin and various others. Genshin's the one I did video content for, but I, that's basically how I approach all gacha games. I just get in deep. Hey, did you want my lap? You had an opportunity to get my lap. Now you just look at me. Like, you want to get... Who is Ayaka? Being in gacha games, Ayaka is here. Who is Ayaka? What game is this? Is that Genshin? Diggy, come up here. Diggy, come here. Stupid. Diggy. Dummy. Diggy. You want to come up or not? You're looking at me like you want to come up. The lap pillow is in place. You can come up. Dig. Stupid. Kitty. Dummy, get up here. Oh my god. It's cat. Okay, it is Genshin. You know, one of the things that actually kind of turns me off about Genshin, um, and I'm part of the problem, uh, to be fair, is the whole constellation thing. It's such a brutal mechanic, like wanting the constellation characters, and I'm guilty of being a part of the problem because I definitely have wailed on characters to, like pretty hard. You, if you watch my channel, you know. I wail pretty hard on some characters to, to fully constellation them. But man, that's a brutal mechanic. Like, I'm glad in Grand Blue at least you only really need one copy of the character. You might need multiple weapons, but you do just need one copy of the character. Sticky's in my lap now. I forgot to Prozure again because I'm an asshole. Um, so I guess we will uh, suffer. Because that's what happens if you forget to kill that trigger. Oh, uh, two people attack. We should be decently close. Oh my god, the charm. It hurts me in my soul. Hi, Stiggy. Stiggy's slightly out frame. But I do have a little Stiggy. Hello! Yeah, well, I mean, in Genshin, you need fucking... Seven copies of the character, right? Because you need the, the you need the original, and then you need six more. It's seven, right? Because they started Constellation Zero. See, the thing with games that have that mechanic, where multiple character having multiple copies of characters makes them stronger. So, like classic example is uh, Fate Grand Order, uh, FGO Fate Grand Order. Because um, if you're not familiar with that game. Uh, the charge attack, essentially, the Ogi for the characters, is called the Noble Phantasm. And getting multiple copies lets you upgrade their Noble Phantasm. And uh, it's in the, like going from uh, Noble Phantasm um, 1 to 2 is significant. Um, it increases the damage pretty largely. But everyone beyond that is a diminishing return. So, like, you get less and less the more uh, the, the more levels of our Noble Phantasm you unlock. So, like, it's not that big a deal. Like, getting the second copy for Noble Phantasm 2 is helpful, but, like, it's going to be less and less of a big deal the more levels you get. Genshin, on the other hand, uh, at least when I was playing, was complete opposite. And it depends on character, too, but... There's not a static way characters get better as you get more copies of them. More copies is constellation. Uh, it's completely different constellation bonuses from level to level for each character. And for some characters, their later constellations are the ones that matter. They're, they get ex exponentially more powerful the more constellations. So unlike FGO, where it's like, you know, more, more noble phantasm levels is just nice to have, where it's, you do it for a character you like. Genshin, there's certain characters that are just not very good with no constellation, and then amazing, like best characters in the game with their constellations. 
which is a little bit frustrating. A little bit frustrating. Even for someone that wails. It's like, I would like to not have to wail. I would love to not have to wail. And yes, I know wailing's a choice, but I would love not to feel compelled to wail all the time. Yeah, four star is not bad to get constellations on, but five star, ugh, ugh. Like I, I think the last character I, I really want hard, like I got a lot of constellations on was Tartaglia, um, because when Tartaglia came out, because Tartaglia at zero constellations is an okay, like kind of niche, uh, very powerful in his niche, but kind of niche. Um, burst d DPS. Like, he's good at that in, in his niche, but that's the, the way you use him. But when you get him Constellation 6, at the time, he goes from being Burst DPS to just plain old DPS, and I would say, at the time, the best DPS in the game, flat out, if you're getting Constellation 6. And, like, I think um, Genshin... And I'm sure I'm not the only one who said this. Uh, is the first gacha game I played, and I'm sure there's lesser known ones that are just as bad or worse. But it's the first one that went after making you get copies of the character as aggressively as that. Of the ones I played, getting multiple copies. I only played Fire Emblem Heroes for a little bit. Is that is that how it was? You needed ten copies of them to fully level them. Yeah, it's like, I that kind of shit kills it for me. It's like, I don't want to have to roll for dupes. Like, I like there to be a mitigation system to make dupes not, like, frustrating. Um, but I don't want to have to go for dupes. Like, I think how Grand Blue does it, well, you get moons for dupes, and then additional weapon copies if the weapon's good. I'm fine with that system. Like, Grand Blue's gotcha system, I would say, is like one of the better ones out of the ones I've played. I might even say it's the best one out of the ones I've played. Like, I have very little problems with Grand Blue's gotcha system. In fact, I will unequivocally say Grand Blue has the best gotcha system. I have, no I have relatively little complaints overall. Between sparking and subticks and like moons, it's like I, I Grand Blue's gacha system is just very clean and like enjoyable compared to all the rest. Yeah, can you imagine if Grand Blue were like other gacha games, like where you had to get like, like you had you, if you had to get <laughs> if you had to get Grand Narmaya, but then to uncap her you needed another Grand Narmaya. So like, like yeah, like you said, needing like four copies of Narmaya to to for extra copies of her to get her to eighty, that would be that would be basically how some other games do it. <laughs> Okay, where are we at? 23 million? So why we need like six more? Uh seven more? Making good progress. Yeah, Dread Blue's rates are also really good. Um on on like on Legfest or uh, Flash Fest, like six percent chance of SSR is pretty high. It's quite high compared to other games. Granted, Grand Blue is running to the period in slice span when there are so many SSRs now. Um, 
the pool is very diluted. So it can be a little bit tricky to just roll for a character you want. I mean, the spark system does kind of help, like, keep that from getting too out of hand, but yeah. A lot of SSRs now. Okay, sun's going down. I have to get rid of the sunglasses. But if I move, Stigma get upset. Like I said, I, I organize everything around this little kitty. Like he hates it when I move while he's trying to take a nap. But it's like Stiggy, I can't see. I need to I need to take my sunglasses off. He's like, I don't care. Pillows don't move. I see Kitty. You make a good point. Pillows don't move. Oh. He's perking up. I think he saw a bird outside that he wants to go chase. Uh, refresh. I guess I should log into Genshin. I guess. The level cap's still 80 for the characters. Have they added new progression stuff, or is it basically the same as it was before, but there's more content? It's 90 now? I wonder how many fucking books it takes to get a character not- I wonder how many of- is it, was it Mona? Is it Mona? Is that the money? I wonder how much of that it takes to get to 90. Kitty, okay. Ah, he moved, he moved, he moved, he moved. I can switch sunglasses. Uh... Maybe I'll do it while I'm drunk. Maybe I'll do it while I'm full autoing and I'm 100 or something. I don't know. Maybe I just ignore everything you said and just not play <laughs> all our gotcha games. Oh, we both know that's not gonna happen. I guess I'll begrudgingly load it and see what it's like. Is there a, a canon uh, queer couple? Is there a canon like uh, lesbian couple in Genshin now? Someone mentioned that Ning Wong and Baido were a thing. Is that canon or is that just like the popular ship and subtext and all that? You folks would be the people who have. Refresh. The other issue with Genshin is it's very much a game. At least when I was playing, I have a caveat to everything I say about Genshin, where I felt very little incentive to use any of the cast besides my core team. Granted, my core team was like all the five stars. <laughs> but like, whenever a new character comes out, it's like. Do you, do you, do you? Like, I would kind of make that noise when I was like, why, like, I don't even really want to level them because it's such an investment to level characters in that game. How many more of these do we need to do? I think what, like, four more? Five more. Okay, okay, okay. So I started, I think, at 1,000 summer 50 meat. So I think I'm gonna blow through about seven or fifty meat a day. So I do need to farm some more meat too. And go fast for these next ones. Hey, 
でおごるよ甘く見ないで先生まれてきた。Refresh. Comment from Gumi's. Yeah, I've been using Klee and the same three characters since I've come back and haven't used anyone else. Yeah, like, I, I was always like, huh, you know, Baido's kind of a cool character, but why would I love her? Like, I, like, why, like, literally, why compare? Because I've got, like, better characters level and, like, I, I was able to clear like floor、uh, 12 Abyss, no problem with my roster. So, like, why would I level up the characters? And the cost to get someone to 80, and I imagine it's even worse at 90, and to skill them up was so extreme that's like, I felt very little incentive to actually experiment with characters.、Uh, what was I doing? All、oh, right, I wanted to check、uh, my time on that last one. And that's a shame, right? Because, like, That, that game seems like it wants you to experiment with certain characters. Okay, 117 is pretty consistent how, we, how fast we can clear that. It, it, it wants you, like, there's a lot of incentive to like, try out new characters because,、um, like, you, they all do different things and they're fun. And, like, they, but, like, such an investment to level them that I would never do it. It's not that uncommon a problem. I think Grand Blue actually would be much in the same boat if it wasn't for the fact that it's kind of a rainbow meta.、Um, rainbow meta meaning, like, you really want to be on element for the specific fight you're doing, so you're incentivized to, like, build all the different elements, which naturally makes you play in a lot of different characters. Grand Blue wasn't always like that, by the way. Back in my day. Back in my day.、Um, there was a time when, like, Grand Blue was just. You didn't really need to build all the different elements, so everyone just run dark. Grand Blue was like that for like a decent period at the very beginning. Okay. Piggy, you want it up, and then you went down, and now you went up again. You need to make up your mind, kitty. Can you make up your mind? <laughs> Very fierce core. <laughs> I used Vampy in my um, solo um, Luo um,、uh, clear that video. I need to do more of the private ascendants. As soon, like, I wanted to do them this weekend, but then United Fight happened. So、um, I say that like, United Fight's not known ahead of time, but I forgot it was.、Uh, like, what, I forgot what's happening this soon.、Uh, but I do want to do more private ascendants. Man, Golden Knight was a fucking keen ass. Golden Knight took me so many attempts. And like, was, just little things would keep on going wrong in the, the, the Proud Plus for Golden Knight. I'm kind of curious if all of them are like that or if that's just Golden Knight being harder than the rest. But yeah, that's what I'll be poking at probably after the United Fight. And then the rest of the solos, I need, I need to actually legitimately think about how I'm going to do Lucilius HL solo. You feel like you've heard. Cassie of Arc says, I feel like I've heard a lot of people struggle with her. She's the newest one, right? 
Um, she seems very hard. At least in my, like, it took me legitimately, like, 20 tries to kill her. So I guess it wouldn't surprise me if she were harder, just based on my experience. Which seems a little egotistical, well, to say, like, oh, of course if I have trouble with her, she's really hard. But I mean, no, really, she seems really freaking hard. I, I looked at some of the, the mechanics for other ones, and they don't seem nearly as punishing as her. I'm gonna eat those words, like smash cut to me regret say regretting those that saying that. Also, I feel like Golden Knight, you need a very specific grid to deal with. Like, I don't know how you clear Golden Knight if you're not using a skill damage grid. I mean, maybe there's a version where you just tank all her shit, but that doesn't seem like realistically an option. Because, like, yeah, no, like, if you don't have two Eerie's Beaks, how do you even, like, approach Golden Knight? Diggy, what do you want? You are just in my lap! You're just in my lap! What do you want? What do you want? Diggy, do you want to come up again? Like, where'd you go? Oh my god, this cat! <laughs> this cat! Diggy! That's the wrong button. You're distracting me, Sticky. You're... Come here. No, come here. Stupid. Ah. You sit. You sit. You sit and be calm. See, he's all purrs. He's so happy to be in my lap. But he'll never just get in my lap. When, when, like, he'll just sit and whine until I pick him up. It's like, you know, you have the power. I've seen you do it, to climb up here on your own. He's a little baby. He's such a little baby. He just wants to be in my lap, but he doesn't want to, like, you know, show that, like... I think my cat's Sundere. I've concluded my cat is Sundere. He's like, oh, it's not like I like you or anything, Jessica. My cat is fucking Sundere. I can't believe it. Uh, yeah, no, it's all making sense. Now I understand, Sig. Yes, he wants to farm me. If I could train Stig to farm meat for me, that would be amazing. Getting kind of dark here. I need to turn some lights on. Uh, what is it doing? Alright. Attack, refresh. Protager. Hangman. Full charge attack. Attack, refresh. And then attack, refresh. Here. Brief break to go look at some stuff. Okay. One more gets us 30 mil, so no break. We'll, we'll do that real quick, and then I'll go open some boxes. So let me flip on some light, because it's starting to get... It's starting to get dark. Also, my coworker is messaging me to see if I want to play Apex. I can't play Apex, too busy being fucking weeb and playing Grand Blue. <laughs> Wait, no, I take that back. I'm not a weeb. What are you talking about? Too busy playing, um... The hit Worldwide Phenomenon, Grand Blue Fancy. Good night! Thanks for coming, Lashu. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, attack? Refresh? I feel like I forgot to hit something there. It's fine. Wait, wait, don't do that. Do that first. Then that. Then that, then that. Oh, 
Dig is out of here. He sees a bird. Diggy, there have been birds there all night. Why are you like this? Okay, he's gone. Your friends want to play Unite with you, but you're busy playing Grand Blue. What's Unite? I assume you're not talking about Unite and Fight, unless that's a joke. <laughs> In which case, I get jokes. Okay, goodbye. Vanish into darkness. It's over. Oh, Pokemon Unite! So is that like a, a, poke, a Pokemon action game? I, I saw some VTubers I follow playing that. I saw like Lammy, or not Lammy. I saw someone playing that. And I was like, oh, that looks interesting. Who was it that I saw playing that? I saw someone playing that. Anyways, um, there's our 30 mil. I guess we'll keep on pushing. What are we in the crew rankings? Oh, we're number one in the crew rankings. Come on, crew, pick it up. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh... Well, it's clear that some people are doing the heavy lifting in the crew here. Uh, okay, uh, I'll push her some more. Yeah, no, I've, I I saw Pokemon Unite. I'm like, that looks vaguely interesting. It's more of a Pokemon... Huh. It's more of a Pokemon sports game than a Pokemon MOBA. Interesting. So 30 mil is done. Let's set the bar to 50 million. So this is what, box 26, so we'll do a draw all here. Give me that. Hey, here's a question. How many draw boxes do you get Neo World Quartz on? Does it stop at some point, or is it infinite? Can you get them past 40? Because I might be tempted to like keep pushing fairly hard if you get more. Because, like, man, these things help the Arcarum Evoker grind so much. There's also the freaking web Arcarum. Oh, it stops at 45. So I guess they're 45 bucks. I did, um, the, we're going off in Tangent Land. I did actually, uh, finally, 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 finally make one of the stupid new foundation weapons, this thing. This one seems pretty good. Uh, the, the, <laughs> the star, the star one. And then I was looking at the uncap for this, and I was like, fuck off. <laughs> uh, the uncap for this. Uh, mostly, like, 70 of these things, really? And we're not even into the ones that are particularly bad in terms of Idean, or uh, Asters and Ideans yet. But man, getting this to, like, getting this, getting this thing to three stars is going to be a huge pain in the ass. Oh, you, you can switch to a weapon at 45? Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, like, someone was... Okay, so here's the thing with those weapons, right? We're gonna go in Tangent Land. We hit, we hit our, our goal, so I'm gonna take a slight break into Tangent Land. I was looking at a new Foundation weapons, and... Like... New World Foundation weapons. Like, the one star is five quartz, bunch of lusters, so like 15 total, 70 veritas, which actually take quite a while to farm. Like, 70 is going to take a bit. Um, Malice Fragments, who cares? Varum Proofs, who cares? 30 Astra is a little bit annoying, but that's not that bad. And then, like, here, it's easier we just look at the weapon. It's showed more concisely. And then that's two stars, like, Fucking 30 idioms, so that's like probably 10 clears. Call it eight clears if you're if you're doing pretty well of like the full nine floors of whatever weapon you're going for. Not counting for like once you get through, I guess, rep card sandbox randomly. A hundred more of the fucking Veritas and 50 Astra. And then this one, 70 idioms? Really? 70. 70. 70. 70? 130 Veritas? Ugh, 70 idioms? <laughs> I can't get over it. And 100 Astra? 70 idioms, really? 
<laughs> really? 70? Surely you're fucking with me. 70? <laughs> oh, like 70. Okay, I'm gonna stop saying 70. Um, anyway. And that's just to get the fucking thing to 3 star. It's not even to get it to like 4 star. Like, if that was just to get the 4 star and none of this other shit existed, I'm like, okay, you know what? This is gonna suck by can deal, but let's just get the three star. <laughs> and yeah, right now none of them are. I would say I would say none of them are worth it. Are worth that grind. Like I built this one because uh, it essentially gives um, twenty percent echo to your team when they have divinity, and you get divinity from the star summon, um, which I cannot pull open easily. Uh, can I pull this open easily? Can I pull open the star easily? No. I can go I can look for it. That star. Um, so the star has what? A five turn cooldown and gives you divinity for three turns. So it's like three turn uptime, five turn cooldown to give your team 20% light bonus echo, and that's not bad. In addition to the other, like in addition to the multi-attack rate up. I guess. That's not terrible. But that, is, that does require you to main hand this thing. Also, 90% damage cut while you have divinity. Until under, that's a weird way to phrase it. All allies gain a 90% damage cut. Did you catch something? No, you didn't. Okay. Stick and chase something. I just want to make sure he's not killing a bird over there. Um, I, I try to get the, the small animals away from him before he actually kills them. He, he's pretty good about not actually hurting the animals. He just kind of catches them and then brings them to me for to exchange for treats. He understands that like I am a repeatable quest turn in for treats. If he catches a small animal and brings it to me. But yeah, so it's a 90% cut until end of turn, but Divinity lasts three turns. So is it a 90% cut for three turns on charge attack? That's pretty good. So that seems like it could be useful for hard fights. So that's why I built this one first. But like this 20% boost to light damage cap in Arcarum. I mean, it's just our Arcarum. But they did say they would let you bring this out of our Arcarum by the end of the year. So I guess the question would be, does that mean this thing's going to give you a 20% damage cap up for your element everywhere? I know no one knows, but if it does, then all of these are going to be fucking mandatory. All of these are going to be a freaking nightmare to grind. I looked in the domains of the Vokers, actually. Uh, I, I Not extensively, um, but I did. So, like, man, I'm not looking forward to this thing coming out of Arcarum because these things are such a nightmare to grind, unless they make it significantly easier by them. I can't remember what the domain for uh, Geisenborger is. Yeah, so um, Geisenborger is 70% light bonus damage, so 70% echo when the main character uses the charge track on the shooting of the star. So, like, in theory... Geisenberger gets pretty, like, gets pretty strong with um with this thing as main hand, which is the intent I know, but I'm not looking forward to the grind. There's a reason why I built that one first. I feel like that one's pretty good. I don't know, man. This game, like, every time I think this game's too grindy, they add something that's even grindier, and they're like, well, you know, you shouldn't have said anything. Like, nope, I shouldn't have. I should have just accepted that, like, the game's... The game wasn't that grindy to begin with. Because every time I say it's grindy, you're like, we could make it grindier! <laughs> oh my god. I remember... In the ha The halcyon days of yore, where I was like... Oh man, it's kind of a lot of work to get a get an eternal, get to get a four star eternal. <laughs> oh, do you remember those days? Like when people actually said that, and then five star eternals came out, and everyone's like, "Oh man, this is such a grind to get five star eternals." Look at where we are now. Look at where we are now. Oh, sweet summer child. Uh. 
What do you want, Stig? Stig wants something. I think he wants me to stop streaming and just play with him. I didn't hit Protager because I'm an asshole. Well, fuck me, I guess. So, if you don't hit Protager, the way you recover from it is you use Hangman to dispel one layer of the debuff, and then you've got to use Clarity to dispel the other layer. Dispel the other layer. Which, I think, cools down now? Yeah, okay, there we go. There, we fixed it. That wasn't too bad, but man, sometimes... Sometimes. You've seen me fuck it up multiple times here, so you know how it goes. Big, you're being so obnoxious. What do you want, son? You want up or you want down? Oh, we got Kitty. The Sundry cat. Maybe all cats are Sundry. What do you want, Stig? What do you want, Stig? I see. I don't understand what meow means. Meow? What's that mean, stupid? Does that mean you want to come up? Does it mean you just want my attention? You've got it. What do you want, Stiggy? Okay, you just want to sit at my snow feet. Okay. I guess this is an acceptable arrangement. Okay. So, what are they doing? That ah, constantly distracting me. So, we've been streaming for close to two hours. I think I will... Probably stop soon? I mean, this is gonna be the rest of my, like, until I get, until it gets to be too much. <laughs> it would just be this, beating up the stupid boss. I do need to start um, farming meat again, though, because I think I need a little bit more to, um, for the last day. I might stream tomorrow too, actually, because I think NM100 and whatnot unlocks tomorrow. Which will be a little bit more interesting, because I'm not quite sure what my plan is yet for that. Alright, let's see. Oh yeah, like 43, or no, 33 mil or something? 32 mil? Keep going for a bit. Oof. Yeah, are people still using Gorilla? I assume so. I know that was a big thing for the last Earth United fight. Everyone like stoning their gorillas, which I never bothered to do because honestly, I really don't want to stone Gorilla. <laughs> I tried Gorilla with this setup, um, and it was always slower for me than just using Double Titan. I assume Gorilla is more a big thing if you're running this setup, um, like the super, super strong, uh, the, the setup where you've got a super strong grid and don't actually use Narmaya. Or it'll not. Um, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Because I've, I've seen people run it. I assume it's a gorilla setup. Hang on, we'll kill this idiot. And then I will elaborate. Ah, uh, Protoger. You know, in theory, if I could just hard focus, uh, since this is a minute clear, um... I could do like 50 mil in like probably an hour or so, but like I was saying in my previous video, it's actually kind of hard to like play at 100% efficiency for that long. At least when I'm streaming. Uh, so yeah, the setup I was looking at was this one. So this is Pengi, Mario, Rosette, Zeta, and Vaisaraga. 
I assume this is with like a gorilla sub summon, right? And you just blow the boss up. Because I tried this with my setup. I'm like, oh, yep, nope. <laughs> Don't have enough damage to make that work. Actually. This person's star character is Narmaya, too, and they're not even running him. Her. What's the next highest person? Whoop. I know, I clicked all the wrong things. All the wrong things. Totals. Individual. So this person's running Gorilla. I hate when people put their profile private. It's like, well, what? Are you afraid we're going to steal your secrets? Okay, so this person is using... Oh, hey, this is the first time I've seen someone run um, Sarasa. So, Summer, Ilnaught, Holly Narmaya, and then uh, Six Star Sarasa. Exciting. Exciting. Still Lucha of Skypiercer and Gorilla. I really want to see what that person's clear looks like. I'm I'm super curious what that person's clear looks like. Anyway, anyway. Back at it. Actually, you know, I should probably figure out what my goal is in terms of ranking. I think I'm like what? I'm 129,000 right now. What are the cutoffs for rewards? Where do you see the cutoff for rewards? Also, give me give me that ticket. Where are the finals rewards? I can never remember. Is it here? No. Here. Finals rewards. It must be here. Finals? No. Where the heck do you see the final rewards? Is it under it must be on our loot then, right? Yeah, final rally. So crew rankings. Uh, I mean, that's fine. My crew's only 21 people, so not that big a deal. Um, I mostly want the Dama Crystals, to be honest, because I need them. Okay, so the cough is 140,000. So I would have to push in the top 80,000. All I really get for it is more Crystals. So, I'm fine now. I just want to solidly be below 140,000. So, I'll probably go for 50 mil tonight. We'll see. I don't think I'm going to go for top 80k. That seems like that's going to be a bit harder of a push than I want to do. I could, actually, I guess I could check to see what the, the... I'll check after this fight. I can see what people who are at 80k have. And then kind of gauge where I am accordingly. I really want to see what that person that's running Narmaya, uh, not Narmaya, um, Thrasa. I want to see what their cure looks like. Game needs a spectate function. <laughs> I guess that's what watching my stream is. Boop. Boop. Refresh. I don't actually think refreshing on the tag team saves as much time or any time really because of the stupid load animation on her. Okay, so top 80k. Rankings, totals. The 80 the person in 80k has 243 million. That's significantly higher. I've got 100. Yeah, it's like double. <laughs> double what I'm doing. So yeah, I'm not going to shoot for a top 80k. The person that's top 140 is probably want to get a bit ahead of that. So, yeah, we'll push some more. Like, probably if we do 50 mil tonight, 50 mil tomorrow night, 50 mil the next night, then we should be good. Be in the top 40 so solidly.
Okay. So, I feel like maybe I can shave some time off of this if I don't do that last summon at the end. Try it after this run since I've already ducked it by thinking about it for a second. Like, what are the buttons we can shave off, I wonder? Were, was the last United fight pretty nuts in terms of honors? What was the last United fight? I, I, I did it, I can't remember. It was, it was water, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Or is that the one before? It's all glommed together in my head. Was it water? I don't remember. That's yeah, water, okay. Uh, the. Oh, you forgot something. Okay, we're gonna stop refreshing on this because I feel like it's not actually that much of a time saving, if any. It might be a time saving. We'll refresh this one though because he's a counter attack. I think the summon we can cut out is probably the one on the final turn. Oh no, I fucked up. I was supposed to not bogey there. Oh well. Uh, common is, it's funny that the ranking is how much grinding you do, not how strong you are. It's, it's both. It's like, yeah, you can grind endlessly if you're weak, but if you're weak, you're not going to get as much done. So being strong certainly makes it um, a lot better. But if you're super strong, you're not willing to grind, then you get nowhere, essentially. So yeah, I would say they're both important. I would say your willingness to grind is, is more important than how strong your grid is, but if your grid's super weak, then you're going to have a bad time, even if you're willing to grind. Okay, okay, yeah. So we can shave that last summer off, maybe. Maybe. So summon. Essence. Clear. It's perennial beauty. Force those gas attack. Attack fresh. And then go ahead and summon Dogu here. The liberation. It makes nothing. It's mine to piece Diggy. What do you want, baby? Attack. I'm not going to use Ilnat's nuke because she'll use it once she charge attacks. Which is fine. Maybe that's an optimization we can make. So I'll go ahead and summon Hangman here. Protoger here attacks. I feel like we're going to be short damage. I feel like we're going to be short damage. Maybe not. Attack refresh. Hey, we weren't short damage. How much time did that save? That must have saved a little bit of time. I was kind of slow. So I think we were 117 before. Was that like maybe 115? <laughs> 117. Okay, okay. Let's try it again, but cleaner. Boomy says, check. oh my god, oh my god, seeing you check rankings made me want to check how I'm doing, and I am 56,999, I've never gotten this high before. That's impressive, how much honors are you on? You must be on a shit ton of honors. You must be like, what, like 300k honors or more? Okay, we're gonna try to be fast this time, in addition to those modifications you did. Uriel. Boop, boop. So, um, Roaring Crew, Arrescence, Clarity, Armor Break, Honey and Beauty, Forceless Guess, Attack. Attack Refresh. Attack Refresh. Summon Dogu. Liberation. 
the effects of nothingness. Mind at peace. Not gonna use the nuke. Got tag team. I will refresh that tag team. They just darted off like you want to murder something. Ha! Refresh. Okay. Predator. Hangman. Attack refresh. I'm gonna be short damage. Uh, attack refresh. I lied. I'm not gonna be short damage. Come on. Can we shave off a couple of seconds? We seem to be pretty stuck on 117. You got 300 mil? You got nice, 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 and nice. Uh. One fourteen. I feel like that's as low as we can get it. Without starting to cut some more buttons. I feel like the fact that we gotta do two summons is also slowing it down. Well, yeah. If you're wondering, it's this number I'm looking at. One minute fourteen seconds for that clear. I think some people in my crew have gotten it low to like under a minute, which is very impressive. Very curious what setup they're running. This absolutely doesn't matter, as I was saying in my other video. It's like gaming off a few seconds in the long run, not that big a deal. But it's a fun challenge. Get him. Refresh. Gogu. Liberation. Apex nothing is minded peace. Egg team. Refresh. Did my armor break this? Attack. Refresh. Uh, 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 uh. Hangman. Sure. Attack. Refresh. And then. Attack. Refresh. I do find it helpful to not fuck something up if I call out exactly what I'm doing. In case you're wondering why I'm doing that. Oh, another second off. 113. Let's go. That It's not getting shorter than that. Maybe 112, but without cutting something out, I'm getting you shorter than that. All these birds keep on landing on my balcony. So Stig is not an outdoor cat, um, but I do let him run around on the balcony. And uh, you'd be surprised how much stuff he manages to actually catch on the balcony. Because, like, he's caught, like, two birds, like... Countless lizards. He caught a mouse once. And like, it's on the balcony. So this stuff actually has to come up to the balcony for it to catch for them for him to catch them. But yeah, all day birds have been landing on the balcony because um uh the fla the trees nearby are like dropping seedlets all over the place. Which is actually kinda of annoying. It means I have to go sweep the balcony all the time, but or should be. But the birds are landing on the balcony to pick up the seeds and the stick like tries to terrorize them. Pretty good about not like doing any serious damage to them though. He's only caught two, and both times they were alive when he got him, he brought them to me. And I just let I gave him some creeps and I let him go. So you know, peaceful, peaceful resolution. Hello, Stig. Yeah, you're a good little hunter, Stiggy. What do you want, Stig? What do you want? What do you want? You want me to stop playing the video game? You want me to stop playing games and just hang out with you? I mean, I haven't streamed for two hours, Stig. He's like, yes, you have! Now stop and play with me! Was that not actually clear? Oh no, we fucked up! 
Just the idiot. What do you want? Oh my god, he's so mad. Come here. Come here. Stupid. Come up here. Come up here. Come up here, dummy. Hello. Hello, Steve. Come up here. Wow. Headbutt. Headbutt. Come sit down. Stupid. Come sit down. Come sit down. I know you want to sit down. I know you want to sit down. Yes. Yes. Alexa, turn on living room. Okay. There, I'll turn the light on. Oh, that's right in my eyes. That is really bright. That is really bright. Alexa, set living room to warm white. Alexa, set living room to warm white. Okay. Okay, that's better. Apologies if I'm setting off anyone's Alexa, by the way. Okay. Got a kitty. Guess that means we're settled in for a while. Because now I can't move since he's in my lap. I don't know if you guys can hear him purring. He's purring so loud. Are you happy I'll be You're a good little baby, Stiggy. Here we do this. Can you hear him now? I don't think that's actually picking him up very much. Hopefully you can hear him. He's being a little baby. I don't think my no my no my noise gate. Why was that so hard to say is low enough for or high enough for Stig to actually be picked up? But rest assured he is purling purring very happily in my lap. Idiot. No! I guess our clear is slightly inconsistent. Sag. Uh, the What are we at? Thirty nine million now? Another box is done. Give me that quartz. Yeah, you know, I think the thing that concerns me about the weapons is, Neo Foundation weapons, is if they are going to be a 20% cap up, general cap up outside of our Karum, you're going to have to get them unless they don't stack with something. I don't know what, unless they don't stack with like other cap ups. And looking at the fact that they take like over a hundred idioms and like you know close to a hundred quarts and like all other shit they take, trying to cat like trying to get one for every element is gonna take forever. I'm not looking forward to that. All right. You can't choose New World Quartz on the draw box unless you've recruited all the Eternals. If you haven't recruited all the Eternals yet, you have to take a Revenant weapon instead. You don't have to 5 star them, you just have to have recruited them. But that's how you access the Quartz there. I want to say United Fight's the best way of getting the Quartz, actually, because there's a... I think you can trade for, what, like 20? 20, 25 of them? Something like that? Uh, from the Arkarum trade for a whole lot of Arca points. 
And then I think that there's 18 from the missions, and then I think everything else from United Fight. So definitely worthwhile to try and get those Eternals all recruited to get access to the fourth trade. I forgot they hit Protégé again because I'm an asshole. Um, I guess... Guess we suffer. Oh my god, die, 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 die. Shine. Okay. Shine. There, they died. Okay, we're at 40 million now. Um, but yeah, I don't want to stop. I, I, I would stop, but now Stig is asleep in my lap. So, like, I'm not going anywhere until he wakes up. Uh, everything is just lying behind this kitty. We'll do another couple, I guess. Clarity, armor break. Turning of beauty. Force to the sagas. Sagasi, however you say that. Attack. Call Dogu. Liberation. Apex of nothingness. Find peace. Peace out. Tag team. I'm gonna stop refreshing every time because honestly, the savings for tag team is not very much. I didn't rethink my living room lighting set. It's like right in my eyes. Um, uh, hey man. How come I forget Protege this time? Attack. I love this thing. You're being so annoying and now you're so quiet. I love this thing. Little baby. Oh baby, you can barely see him. It's, he's kind of like this black blob in the corner of my screen. Uh, attack. Refresh. What? Nani? How are you still alive? Take a big sword. At some point, I should switch over to farming meat again. Yeah, at this rate, I will have to farm probably another thousand meat, I want to say. Not that it's a huge issue, since this is what farming meat looks like. Um, but I'm not going to do this part on stream, because I think this is even more boring than watching... <laughs> I don't know, I, I feel like watching United Fight super boring, but I do appreciate everyone hanging out with me, because, man, it has made this grind way less obnoxious. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to farm meat on on stream, because it's going to be literally just watching my load screen over and over again. I say that, despite the fact I'm literally doing that right now. Okay, one more. I haven't got hit by a CAPTCHA lately. I know they're pretty prevalent during United Fight. Have they just, like, do they just not do CAPTCHAs as much anymore? I wonder how many people get banned because they missed the capture. I wonder if you can even get banned for missing the capture. I know people are really paranoid about it. Okay. Pinky's so cute. Hey, we almost copped this other team. So, what is this crew? I want to take a look see. So, they've got 30 members. Active ranks 187. Five active players. I wonder if they're JP. That they're pushing, that they've been pushing consistently suggests they might not be, but yeah, the main issue of my crew is 21 members, Sag. How are we doing rankings? Well, we're clearly on top right now until people start waking up, I guess. 
Has my crew slowly become JP? They definitely were Yen when I joined ages ago. But I feel like more of my crew now plays at night than plays during the day. I wonder if I can get rid of the armor break. I feel like the, bu the button save there is not going to add up to much more than a second, so maybe it's not worth it. I just didn't get dinner. I just realized it's almost 9 my time. I still haven't gotten dinner yet. Okay, uh, tech team. Refresh. Peace out. Predator. I was looking at Earth Grid stuff the other day, well, yesterday, and I was trying to figure out how to get more crit in my grid, and then I realized that Thronius actually has a really good crit weapon for Earth Primal. So I guess I gotta do Thronius now. Well, now is relative, because Earth Free Nerd Fight's half done. <laughs> Almost half done. But Fronius has this, uh, here, I'll bring it up in that other window. Fronius has this thing. Which, uh, I mean, it's not exciting or anything, but it's, it's big crit small attack. Which seems legitimate for like an Earth, uh, like a primal Earth crit grid, because there's not a lot of there's not a lot of big crit in primal Earth, as far as I can tell. Besides, like I think Seratas, the the Golden Knight weapon, is big crit, but there's not a lot of weapons that give a lot of crit in Earth. So I guess I need to farm that sword, or I guess I don't even know why we're placed with it at this stage. Um. So maybe it's not actually something I have room for in my grid, but I've been thinking about it. So it's interesting that they uh, unlock a new weapon slot for Arkaram. But, but there's like room in the there's room for two more slots that aren't unlocked yet. So I wonder when they'll unlock those. And I wonder if they would ever let you expand that grid outside of Arkaram. I guess is another question. That would be a significant jump in power. But like I do feel like that's the next like logical step <laughs> to give people more weapon grid slots. They don't technically have to do that, but it'd be interesting if they did. Whoop. Okay. Back. Refresh. Rodisher. Hangman. Attack. Oh no! How much did we miss by? 2%. Okay. So how many honors am I at now? What, like 43? Okay, so we will get to 50 million and that's where I'll stop. So that's probably what, like 6 more clears?
I think that'd be a good stopping point for now, and then I will get dinner, because it is actually getting quite late. I guess the fact that the sun has gone down should have flewed me in, that was dinner time. But yeah, I think I will stream tomorrow. I'm gonna promise that. Let's see. I have some stuff I need to take care of. Have to take care of this push. It, it, things I want to take care of. Mostly I want to get my nails done tomorrow because I chipped one of my fucking nails today, which isn't a big deal, but it's irritating me, so I kind of want to go out and get them done. Okay, tag team. Peace out, attack. Refresh. So yeah, we need to do six more at this boss, so we'll try to get eat through this. In theory, we could do that in about seven minutes. Six minutes now. So there's one. Big was dead ass asleep in my lap, and then a bird flew by, and now he's about to leap out of my lap. Go chase it. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> I do cats not actually sleep? Like it feels like he's never not alert. <laughs> like he'll be passed the fuck out, hear something, and just be like flying across the room to try and get it. Okay, we're in crew. That focus, fluorescence, clarity, armor break, perennial beauty, force still is a gap, and attack. There we go. Refresh. Uh, Apex of Nothingness, and Peace, Amandogu, Liberation, Tag Team. Peace out, we're at it. Attack. Attack refresh. Summon Hangman. Protozer. Attack. Refresh. Okay, there's two. Four more. Another one. This goes so much faster if I concentrate. Which kind of suggests maybe I should concentrate more. <laughs> it's hard. Uh. Okay. So, Roaring Crew, Fluorescence, Armor Break, Clarity. I feel like con like calling out what I'm doing. Pretty beauty. Poor Sosa guess. I feel like calling out what I'm doing actually helps me focus. Attack, refresh. Like some like ritual chant or something. And I think a ritual chant is a good way to phrase it. Thumadogu. Liberation. Apex of nothingness. Mind of peace. Peace out. Tag team. Did you get- are you winning, son? Did you get the bird? You sure did. Attack. Crush. Uh, Eggman. Brodiger. Attack. Refresh. Attack. Refresh. Clear. Three more. Three more. Alright. Ariel. 
Growing crew, fluorescence. Armor break, clarity. Turning of beauty. Force of scats, attack. I'm gonna have this etched in my brain. I'm gonna hear those words in my sleep after United fights over. Attack refresh. Dogu. Summon Dogu, liberation. The effects of nothingness. Mind to peace. Peace out. Tag team attack. It's such a bummer that Dogu's summon is called can't apply stone to this boss. I, I mean, I would suspect that would mean you can't apply stone with um, NM uh, 100 either. It would be weird if for some reason that immunity went away. But yeah, no, like part of the reason why I stoned Dogu was to be able to, to inflict stone on the boss, and you sure can't. Attack Refresh. That didn't kill you? <laughs> How dare you not die to my attacks? Okay. Two more. Oop. Going through a lot of pots. I do like the fact that you burn so much AP here, which is a weird sentence. Um, but I, I like it because I need journey drop points. I was getting really low on journey drop points because I, you gain so little journey drop points during um, the fest, and I was down to like a hundred. I was only gaining like thirty to sixty a day, and then uh, United Fight came out, and I gained like three hundred something, like three hundred thirty, the first day of United Fight. So, spent a lot more AP during United Fight. Which I'm sure must be kind of actually a bit frustrating for folks that don't have a huge stockpile of pots. I've never, like, not in years, run out run an issue with pot. And it might just be because I kinda I take breaks now and then, and I also don't I don't grind quite that hard in this game. But yeah, I'm kind of curious. Do people do people still have potion like problems with running out of uh, half elixirs? I think someone was saying earlier actually that they did. So that that must still be a thing. But I've got like four thousand five hundred right now. One time, like my weird little my like intermittent breaks pays off. Attack! Finish in the darkness. One more! And then we should be at 50 million, and then I will stop and have dinner. The last one. Every United Fight destroys Har Harukio. Every United Fight just destroys my half pots, and you can never stay above 1,000. Yeah, I have blown through a good chunk of half pots in this United Fight. So I could see that being a thing. I would imagine if you're still building your grid, especially if you're like a, a manga, manga, a magna player. As far as I don't make that slip up more often. I, I suppose if you're a magna player, um, there's a lot more grinding to do. Not that there isn't grinding for primal. Um, so I could see like in that situation. Uh, especially you, you haven't been playing a long time don't have buffer pot. But yeah, I, I, I guess I can see you running out pots pretty quickly in that scenario. You can't trade moons for pots, but like, I feel like that's never, like, that never feels great. <laughs> I guess it's the bronze moons that you would trade for pots, right? Attack, refresh. Okay, so Protégé, Hangman, attack! We'll let this play out since it's the last one for the stream, I guess. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's fair. If you if you just started out in your magna, then yeah, I could see running out pots being an issue, like a huge issue. I didn't turn on charge attack because I'm a jerk. It almost didn't matter. What are we at? We should, in theory, be at 50 now. What does that say? What's her grocery says? That's a clap? I don't think that's what it says. Is it clap? I don't know. Gotta check the footage. Okay, we should be at 50 mil. Right? Right? 50 mil? 48 mil? Am I just bad at math? Yes. Guess we gotta do two more. How am I this bad at math? I did six, right? Or unless I miscounted. Okay, two more. Did I miscount that badly? Or is my calculation just always flawed to begin with? Whatever. Roaring crew, fluorescence, clarity, armor break. Perennial deity, forceless gas attack. Huh. I'm legitimately curious how I was that far off. I expected if I was going to be off, I'd be off by like one clear, not two. Liberation. Apex nothingness. Mind of peace. Peace out. Tag team. Oh, that peace out hits for a, a decent chunk of damage when she has uh, one piece stacks. Because one piece stacks makes it double. Attack! Uh, I should be refreshing, but the last two, I'm gonna stop refreshing. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> Yes. Try your stupid trigger. Alright. I did it again! I'm gonna turn on charge attack again! Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> That's clear sign, I should stop. Because now I'm forgetting hit buttons. But we got one more. Then we should be done. We should be at 50 mil. And then dinner. Sweet, delicious dinner. Sweet, delicious dinner. Alright. Not gonna forget any buttons this time. So, summon Uriel, Roaring Crew, Fluorescence, Armor Brick, Clarity. Pretty of Beauty. Or still a guess? I guess? I guess? It's a guess. I need someone to tell me how that's pronounced. Okay. Summon Gogu. Operation. Apex of nothingness. Mind of peace. Double peace out. Tag team, attack! Man, Holly Maya hits real hard. I mean, so is Miriam Rosette, but man, Holly Maya hits hard. Also, 5 million on the counter. Okay, summon Hangman. Protege, attack. Or if we get, no, yeah. Or if we get, turn charge attack back on. For sure, neutralizes the trigger. Then it's over.
cannot tell what that says. It doesn't say clap. There, we're done. <laughs> that should be 50 million. Oh, let's go. Okay. Yep, 50 million, 500,000. What are my own crew rankings? Number one for now, though people will be waking up soon. Yep. I've done my piece for today for the crew. I probably will actually... I spent... Oh... Probably spent a good 800 to 1,000 meat. So I'll blow through another 1,000 tomorrow, which will be round 3. And round 4, I'll need another 1,000. So I need to grind 1,000 more meat. So I think I'll do that tonight, grind another 1,000 meat, and then I'll have enough for the rest of the United fight. Uh, how many more boxes do we need to do? We're all... We want to go to 45, I guess. So... Yeah, the meat grind should actually get us probably three or four boxes, I would say. So yeah, we're on track. We're on track to um, here update the notes. Did fifty million honor? Uh, do this too. We're twenty nine to forty boxes. Whoop! Don't save it. Twenty nine forty boxes. So yep. All right, so that's going to be it for um, today's stream. I will probably stream tomorrow because it's going to be Nightmare One Hundred. I believe that sounds right uh so that'll be interesting and uh yeah thanks everyone for coming uh it's been a lot of fun actually it's made doing the united fried ryan a lot more enjoyable just having some folks to chat about while i do it because normally this is me going absolutely nuts or just not paying attention at all and actually taking all day because like hope just not be paying attention but yeah it's been fun but yeah if uh uh, if you want to catch me tomorrow, feel free to swing by. I don't quite know when I will do it yet. After 3 p.m. PST, obviously, because that's when finals starts, the finals round start. If you're watching this after the fact on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, and all that YouTube stuff. And yeah, thanks for coming, folks. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!